Ladies and gentlemen, hello. My name is Kale. Are you dead? Do you want me to bring some life into you for the next couple of minutes? Very good, I'm going to do that just now. Now, not everyone on Earth is the perfect writer like Shakespeare, Robert Frost, J.K. Rowling. Not all of us can be like that. But here at Toastmasters, it's a very good idea to know how to write a speech so that if you are giving a speech in the future, it can be of the best quality ever. Promise you. And I'm going to show you a simple technique tonight on how to write a speech. Take out my magical pen. The first thing that anyone should know whenever they write a speech is you have to have an outline. How do you write this outline? Well, it is quite simple. It consists of a couple of main parts. The first part being the hook, the second part being your body, and the third part being your conclusion. Now there's a formula to the way that you write this outline. And I am going to present that formula to you right now. Let's start with the hook, shall we? Normally, a hook is a compelling statement that draws your listener or audience's attention. For example, if you're doing a speech about, let's say, oh, I don't know, Mount Etna, the famous volcano in Italy, right? What you'd want to do is come up with a compelling statement on Mount Etna. For example, some historical fact about it. Something about the geography. Where exactly in Italy is Mount Etna? You get what I'm saying? Good. For our example tonight, we are going to use puppies. Everyone likes puppies, right? There are all kinds of different puppies. Those kinds are And then from that you'd go into the different types of dogs that are out there All sorts of stuff. That's your hook. That is the most compelling statement in your speech and it lets your audience know what your speech is going to be about. In this case, we already know that it's about puppies, and we know that there are different types of puppies as well. The second part of your speech is you want to think of the body. Those are going to be your main points. What is it about puppies? What are the different breeds of puppies? Get more into depth about the different breeds of puppies that are out there. There's all kinds of things you can say about puppies. That is your body paragraph. And you should have a point and then a couple of statements to reflect that point or to explain that point. The third thing you want to come up with is your 
Conclusion. The best conclusion ever sums up your points that you made as well as your hook. In this essay, the conclusion can be something like this. Puppies are the greatest thing ever, and there are all kinds of puppies, and this is all you need to know about puppies. Now go out and buy one! So, I know that the examples I used tonight were not the best ones, but you kind of get the idea of how to write a speech. I hope that I made it entertaining and enjoyable for you, and I hope that you got something out of it. Thank you very much, and Happy Halloween!